Okay, so the FedEx guy literally just left my house. Um, that was the box that it came in from where I got it from. Uh, and I was gonna do an unboxing for this one because there wasn't one on YouTube for the 2019 uh, Hummingbird with the walnut finish. I, I couldn't find one, so maybe I'll be the first, I don't know. So anyways, here's the unboxing. So obviously, Gibson box. Uh, I already opened this part, but I haven't actually pulled the guitar out yet. So you can see that it comes really prepared for shipping. I was actually worried about that because I've never bought a guitar and had it shipped to my house before. This is actually the first brand new Gibson I've ever purchased. Every other Gibson I've ever had was used probably from the 70s or 80s. So obviously really nice case. It's kind of a dark brown mahogany kind of almost. Uh, it's got gold hardware, uh, Gibson logo. Sorry, that's upside down. Uh, so here we go. We're gonna open it up and let's see how it looks. Should be four clasps. I don't think there's one on the back probably. Okay, yeah, only four. And here we go. Oh yeah. Very, very pretty guitar. I went with the walnut over the, the standard, just regular. I just, I don't know, for some reason I like that tobacco-y, walnut -y burst. And this is the studio one. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, another thing too, uh, the last Gibsons I had, they had the neon pink, so this is black. I don't know how long Gibson's been doing this, but I remember that they had a lot of pink on the inside for the Squishy part. Uh, warranty, paperwork, yeah, blah, blah, blah. No big deal. Um, I guess whoever checked it out, there's their checklist. Uh, let's see what's inside here. I'm actually curious to see what it came with. Okay, I think that's it, let's see. It even says Gibson on the tag right there. Put him back in there for now. We'll pick it up in a minute. Okay, uh, so it looks like a cleaning cloth. Yeah, cleaning cloth. Uh, trust rod wrench. And a pretty nice little leather strap. I'm actually surprised. I'm kind of glad it came with a strap. I didn't have a strap for this guitar. And it's actually leather, so that's pretty cool. And let's see. Oh, and it's got one of the little keychain picks, little pick holder leather. All right, so let's check it out. Uh, a couple things before, you know, because I actually, where I live, there's no guitar center or anything like that or nice guitar place around me. So I had to go totally, you know, from images I saw online, and there really wasn't a whole lot with the, you know, the, the walnut burst. So. I was kind of in the dark because all I could see was just, you know, stand just one pictures here and there. Never, there was no videos or anything like that. So I was curious to see actually what everything came with. So I noticed this right when I saw it. There's the pickups right there. So that's your pickup controls right underneath there. So I was like, what is that sticking out? So that makes sense. Um, do a little quick walk by it. There's all the inlays, the mother of pearl inlays. And I'm really glad it has the nickel hardware. I'm not a gold hardware fan for guitars. I never have liked gold hardware. I'm a silver nickel guy, so I'm really happy about that. All right, let's look at the back of it. Uh, very, very pretty piece of wood. Very pretty. And you can even see where they Cut it. Uh, look at the difference of wood color in the neck versus the body. Nice little nickel nut for strap right there. Nickel tuners. And those are the, which one? The Grovers? Yeah, that's the Grovers. Uh, let's look at the input jack. Oh, that's interesting. It's kind of an antique color for the input jack for the strap. 
Um, I mean, just, wow, I didn't realize it's so light. This thing's very, very light. I have a Seagull acoustic. It's way heavier than this thing. Very, very light. I'm actually surprised by that. Let's see how it sounds. I heard these things come tuned. I'm gonna, I'm holding it with one hand so I can't really play anything so we can do the famous. There's your Metallica for, since I don't want something I got one hand. Uh, yep, it's definitely in tune. I don't know, just a very, very pretty guitar. I'm really glad I went with the Walnut. I don't know, it just gives it some, I don't know, it's like just, just, just got that antique look to it. I just really, I really dig it. I mean, I, I'm a rock guy, so this, it just goes, you know, I mean, this could be rock, country, this could be any genre. Beautiful guitar. Very happy about it. So anyways, that's the 2019 Gibson Hummingbird, the studio edition in the Walnut Burst. So appreciate it watching and I'm looking forward to having this thing for a really, really, really long time. Thanks for watching.